Hello, I'm Chris from the FPL Dude and welcome back to another Fantasy Premier League video for the 2020-2021 season. In today's video we'll be building a wildcat team that I hope will last to the end of the season. This is an updated version of the previously posted uh, wildcat team. Uh, I hope that this one is going to be better now because uh, fixtures got changed. Now Manchester United actually does have a triple game week. I have to apologize now, I just posted a video at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, it was uh, something um, wrong with the voice, so now I just have to re-record this uh, one more time. So let's start building that team, the first one is going to be Fernandes, the second one is going to be Greenwood, I don't think that I need to speak a much why I do go for Fernandes, he has been very good player throughout the whole season, he is triple game week now, I believe that I will use the, the triple captaincy chip on him for this game week. As for Greenwood, I do believe that he has had very good potential, very good now in the last few fixtures and I believe that he is only going to continue to do that, he might not get to start now in the... Uh, all three fixtures that's uh, something that i think is not going to happen but i really hope that he is going to start at least in two of them as for the next uh, midfielder as for the next player that i'm going to go from this manchester team it is going to be mcguire i do believe that he does offer us that greatest potential to start as he does seem to be a central midfielder that does not seem to waste a lot of energy while playing so i believe that he he could play three games in five or six days without any problems as for the next player now that i'm going to bring in is uh, salah i do believe that salah is uh, probably very essential player now for you to the good to the end of the season he has a lot of good upcoming fixtures double game week now with the first fixtures against sent southampton that's where i believe he has phenomenal potential and he does have very good captaincy potential even in lots of these fixtures now to the end of the season. The next player and midfielder that I am going to bring in in this case is going to be Zaha. I do believe that Zaha still offers that the Zaha offers very good potential to the good now because um, Crystal Palace have those um, easiest double gaming features now for game with 35 it's sheffield united and southampton both of these clubs have actually allowed more than 16 goals each um, throughout the whole season now so there's they have very good potential to allow goals well zaha has very good potential to score so i believe that he is actually going to do that the next play is going to be vart profs i believe that he does offer us very good potential to do good mainly because he's on set piece he has very good double game fixtures liverpool defense have not been that good so vart profs could potentially score a few goals in this one as for the next one is uh, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace defense have been uh, pretty bad now for the last couple of games. They've been pretty bad throughout the whole season. So I believe that Vard Pros could potentially do good. And he's on penalties as well. The next player that I'm going to bring is so I'm going to go for five midfielders. As you can see, I will miss out on Kane if I am now building a wildcard. Ian Nacho is going to be the first striker that I want to bring in. So as you can see, now I have four players that does not have. Uh, fixtures for game week 36 that's the maximum we can bring in because we do not want to go for these players and then potentially need to take a hit for for to be able to put out a whole team for game week 36 that is um terrible thing to do because if you you're using a wildcat you actually have that advantage over all other players not using wildcat to actually made a bit of a better planning to be able to do good and now we have only three or four fixtures left so focus mainly on the fixtures and find those informed players that could potentially do good now in those fixtures as i'm doing right now the next one i believe have very good potential there is, is watkins um, what I like about Watkins is I believe that he has pretty similar potential as Kane in this one and he does cost around 5 million less, 5.3 million to be precise if that's the exact amount he might have rose rise in price now. Um, as for the next player that I believe is needed to this team is going to be a defender now. Alexander Arnold does seem to be essential defender now because he has wonderful fixtures to the end of the season and even pretty good to okay fixtures now for that double game week. Um, he's very attacking minded, he 
he does like to deliver a lot. Tons of balls into the box. We everybody know Alexander Arnold and how creative he could potentially be. The next player that I'm going to bring in to start for this game week is going to be Dinge. I do believe that he has that essential potential. I don't think that there are so many attacking minded players that we could focus on from this Everton team, but they do have. Uh, Ding or you could potentially even go for Coleman. That's up to you. Both of them um, seem to offer us very good attacking if better than potential. Um, and um, just for the next one right now, I am actually going to go for Chris Will, yes. Chris Will does seem to be a very good uh, goalkeeper for this uh, particular team because he is not going to start now for this double game with 36 but he has wonderful fixtures to the end of the season it's Brighton, West Brom, it's Southampton he does have very good clean sheet potential in most of them and very good attacking ability and potential because he is very attacking minded player the next striker that I'm going to bring in in this case is going to be Bamford guys I have seen so many so many people trying to get rid of Bamford in this game week but have you seen those fixtures after it it's Burnley, Southampton and West Brom guys I do believe the Leeds are actually going to score even six or seven goals in these three game weeks Leeds are actually scoring tons of goals when they play against teams that have um, pretty weak defense or pretty weak attack as Burnley or West Brom have. So I do believe that Leeds are going to continue to do good and that's why I will actually bring in one more of their players just to have on my bench for this particular game week and just do not waste the transfer trying to bring in him after this game week. He is a midfielder, Dallas has been playing as a midfielder so his attacking potential is higher than the rest of the defenders he has seven goals and three f policies that's uh, just pure phenomenal so and uh, this seemed to be the whole team and now as for the goalkeeper i believe i need to go for guaita guaita is the goalkeeper that i will choose for this game week and as for the last goalkeeper replacement i will go for foster I assume that I might not have the money, but this team does not cost that much. You could potentially even go for good fall. Um, this team will cost you around 101.5, 102 millions. I believe that it offers very good potential to do good because you will be able to put out very strong. Um, team for this double game week or triple game week 35 and you will be actually able to put out a whole squad as well in game week 36 with using only one transfer so yes if you thought this video was of any help then please do give it thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe if that is something you have not done already thank you for watching and um, i'm sorry for the format this time i just had to make a quick video Thank you for watching, see you next time.